Hey, y'all, I just wanted to say this before I show you the video. I just got this in last night at, at 8.45 p.m., so I messed with it to about 1 o'clock after it quit charging. So, to be honest with you, i got a lot to learn on it yet. So, you know, some of the things in the video were not correct, or I forgot to show you. I apologize. And also, I wanted to show you the stuff being plugged into it, seeing what kind of power and what it'd do and all that, you know, but there wasn't enough light in the in the shop. And outside it was just a nightmare. I couldn't hardly see the screen and y'all wouldn't have been able to see it anyway to the camera. So that'll be in another video, which I'll do here in the house with blow dryers and plug in my refrigerator and that sort of thing. So anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. And uh, once again, I apologize if I butchered the video. <laughs> so, you know, I don't claim to be no photographer, and I'm certainly not no director. And and uh, but anyway, you know what I'm trying to say. Thanks in the, thanks in advance for watching the video, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye now. Hello, everybody. Jim here with Totally Relaxed, and I want to introduce you to my neighbor, one of my closest friends here on the property at Manusville, Texas. And he's my mentor on top of that. Hi, Jim. Say hi to the world. Howdy, everybody. He lives next door to me, and he's been here 47 years on this property. And uh, so he's uh, basically the matriarch of the property. But my neighbor across the street, Angelina, the landlady's mama, she's a matriarch of her family. So anyway, Jim don't want to stay on a... His name's Jim, by the way, just like mine, and... He don't want to stay on camera, so, but I did want to introduce him to you and uh, let him say hello, and then he's going to watch me go to work. So let me stop this right here so he can get resituated wherever he wants to see it. Okay, everybody, I guess it's time now for you to see the meat of the video. So anyway, here we are, and to start with, this is a 3600-watt-hour machine. It has a lithium iron phosphate battery set right in the middle of it. And just out of uh, just out of curiosity, I compared I got online and compared it to Battleborne batteries that are so popular now. This one battery in here is equivalent to three Battleborns. Can you imagine that? Uh, anyway, let me show you what all it's got on there. Hope you can see everything I'm 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 looking at. Right here we have four house AC plug-ins right here. We have a 30 amp max uh, plug-in for your RV. Here and here we have two 100 watt fast charge USB-C's. We got two fast charge uh, regular USB's and then two regular USB's over here. Okay, uh, y'all bear with me because I'm still learning about this. Let me show you what all comes with it. This little doojiggy here plugs into the side, this little box right here. And what it is, is that if you go to one of these places with, that uh, charges electric cars, you plug the adapter into here and then plug this in the machine, you can plug, you can charge your your machine at that car car charging place. That's pretty cool. EcoFlow is the first one to come out with that. It comes with a charging uh, plug naturally and it's got a built-in charger inside so you don't have to have a brick to plug into and then plug into the machine. I charged it last night in less than two hours to 100%. This is the DC cigarette lighter plug that plugs into it, but, but geez, I'm thinking it'll take three days to charge this thing up to 100% with that, but they give it to you anyway. Now you're probably wondering, what about uh, solar panel connection? Didn't you get any of those? Well, I'm glad you asked because yeah, I did. But curious me, had to check them out, see if they'd fit my fan, uh, solar panels, and they did. So I just left them on there. So they're on the, they're in the panel container with the with the panels. 
Okay, let me turn this thing off so we can uh, get to the back side now because i got to turn this thing back over. Be right back. Okay, I finally got this heavy son of a gun turned over. And uh, that plug was talking about a while ago. Let me show it to you. I found out where it goes. This is not the... There's an adapter that goes with this to charge at the car station I was telling you about. But what this is, you plug it in here, and it's got another one for another plug on the other side. You could charge straight from here to, the, uh, to another unit like this. That's what this is for. So, okay. And of course, this is where your power cord goes right here. And you got a switch on here for fast charge or slow charge. Now, the fast charge is if you're just charging the unit by itself. The slow custom, uh, slow slash custom switch when you get it down is like when you got a refrigerator or something, a stove you're using or something you need power to. And if it has a uh, automatic, uh, I don't know what you call it, where it turns it off itself or stops charging or whatever it does, it won't mess up this thing and uh, mess up the uh, the workings of it. Okay, and also right here you have 11-15 OVD 15 amp max, and I'm not quite sure what that is right now. I'm gonna be honest with you. Now back here we got a reset button in case you have this deal on the, the switch on the fast one and it kicks off, you can hit this reset button. Okay. Okay. It helps to, if you read the... Okay, this is the solar input right here. That's where you plug in your solar right here. Okay. Alright, let me turn this thing off. Because I got some more stuff I want to show you on the side. Okay. Okay, everybody, I got, got that heavy son of a gun turned over. This Infinity AC plug here, uh, I'm, not, I'm still not sure if, if that is for charging the cars, because I know this machine, you can charge the machine at the, the car charging place, but it says Infinity AC. The AC must mean like their current, like a house current is here, I guess, but anyway, so... Now this compartment here is your Anderson plug right here, your uh, DC cigarette lighter plug, and then you have two 12 volt right here you can plug in here and have two more cigarette lighter plugs if you want them. Okay and there's a reset button, the IOT reset. And this is Bluetooth as well so you can use an uh, Ethernet cord on here. And you can pair this to your your phone or laptop or whatever. And that's going to be it. I'm going to leave a description, a URL in the description down there for Hobo Tech on YouTube. Because he is a whiz on this electronic stuff. And, and the video that I put down there in this description will be for this particular unit by itself. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope I didn't butcher this video up very much. Hope y'all got something out of it. So, I'll see y'all in the next video, and I appreciate you watching. Bye now.